All right, so there are very few things in life that I truly detest, uh, but one of them is the state of the safe, American safety gas can. I don't know who the guys are that are coming up with these designs, but they are terrible. There's no two alike, and I would say that they, they are more unsafe. I have spilled more gas with these things than I had with the old jerry cans. I don't know why we have to have this nonsense on these gas cans, because gunpowder, it has a regular lid, Paint thinner, it has a regular lid. Bleach, it has a regular lid. But gas cans have to have this nonsense. Come in here close, Brian. I want to show you how ridiculous these things are. To operate one of these cans, this one specific, I don't know if you have this one, but it takes almost three hands. First off, you have to put it on the ground, and you have to push this thing, and you have to push this down, so it takes two hands and then you have to try to support this with a finger all the while getting this up here, supporting it, getting up into your car or whatever, and then as soon as you do that, the thing comes off and it's, it, it, it doesn't work anymore. This one here is just as bad. I've got a half a dozen of these and there's no two alike. To operate this, it takes two hands. I pull this back, push this down, and again the same thing, and it comes loose and I can't get it out. My wife can't even manipulate them. She can't fill the lawnmower because she can't figure them out or they spill all over the ground and they make a mess. So I have a very clever solution I'm going to share with you. So what I'm going to share with you, this, this was sent to me by a subscriber and it probably about, uh, probably about a year ago. It came, it was one of those things where I saw it and I thought, you've got to be kidding me. This is, this is not something that I would use. I, I don't, I, I don't like gimmicks. I don't like low quality items. And I just kind of put it on the shelf and, and I never had really thought about it. I pulled it out when I was cleaning up and I got to looking at it and I thought, you know, this is, this might be kind of a handy deal. This is pretty well made. What it is, is it's a, a small electric, I think it's three volt. Come on in here, Brian, and show. It takes four AA batteries and it's a transfer pump that is universal that fits on any of the traditional cans. And it does, it's, I know it sounds gimmicky. It really does, but it's not. Check this out. So the best thing about this is that it's got a sensor built into it. So when you turn on the pump, it stops pumping. It's got a green button, it's got a red button on and off. And if I put this in here, a small clip, and I turn it on, this thing will pump three gallons a minute. And as soon as this is full, it'll shut off. I, I've used electric pumps in the past and I've had them, you know, you turn your back because they're so slow and, and you're doing something else and then you smell gas and you look around and you've got three gallons of gas on the floor. This is so nice. It's so nice, especially for my wife where I can keep a can of gas for her. Uh, she can bring her lawnmower in. She can grab this thing, turn it on, stick it into, into the lawnmower, fill it up and not have any problems. When you're done with it, once it shuts off or it shuts up, you can shut off by itself. Come on in here tight, Brian. It's got a, a holder right there. It's just amazing. I mean, I, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed this and how much I've used it. So the new ones here, they have these on Amazon and I think that they're like, I think they're six, $59. So what you get is you get the batteries and you get these three caps, which fit. I have not had a gas can where these didn't fit. They all fit. And then of course, just the main pump and the instructions, but just a wonderful thing. I'm not affiliated with this, with this company. Uh, it's something I'm just going to put in my Amazon store uh, because I, it's something that I love so much and something that's just so useful because these safety cans are just such a drag. Okay, so here's the scenario. This is what, this, I mean, we just use it all the time for things like this. So instead of the pouring and the spilling and, and your wife coming and getting you and stopping you from what you're doing to, to help her with the gas can, Pull this out of here, stick it in, it clips on, it'll fit in your car, turn it on, three gallons a minute. I tested it against using the safety can, just the, the, with the, all the springs and all that. This is almost twice as fast. It will empty one of these cans in just, I don't know what, what we figure, a minute or so? And there it is, it filled up, it hits the top, there's a little sensor and a wire that runs in there, it's full, it didn't overflow, and we're done. I just absolutely love this thing. So I'll put these in my Amazon store at wranglermart.com. Uh, it is, who makes this thing? Terra Pump. Terra Pump battery powered fuel transfer pump, TRFA101. They're $59 and go to wranglermart.com and I will have those there. And they are fabulous. What do you think of them, Brian? 
I think they're the bee's knees. They're the bee's knees. Have you used it? No, I've seen you use it though. It's good. Yeah. It's good. All right. I too share a disdain for safety cans. <laughs> you don't like the safety cans? I hate them. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. And these will be in the store and uh, a public service announcement. If you hate those safety cans as much as I do, do yourself a favor and get one of these. I forgot to mention they're built in Korea and they're good quality. They really seem to be a robust little pump. It just has changed everything. All right. Don't forget to thumbs up. We've got lots of fun stuff coming up. Uh, we'll be heading down to the lower pasture to put the rest of the trees in and the cedars. And we might even get a burn going, but uh, we'll see weather permitting. But thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.